The former aide who empowered President Trump with Twitter this week offered us a brilliant metaphor for his creation, and that's the subject of this week's State of the Cartoon. President Trump and Twitter. I think that maybe I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Twitter. Did you ever wonder how at real Donald Trump actually came to be? You know who says don't use Twitter? Your enemies. Trump's former social media manager, Justin McConney, used to tweet for the mogul, who then started playing with his new Android smartphone. One day, a tweet was sent that McConney had not sent. Quote, the moment I found out Trump could tweet himself was comparable to the moment in Jurassic Park when Dr. Grant realized that velociraptors could open doors, McConney told Politico. I was like, oh no. Don't you see the danger? And quickly, Mr. Trump broke free. When somebody says something about me, I'm able to go bing, 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 and I take care of it. And things started to get out of hand. Some of the president's advisors, such as outgoing chief of staff John Kelly, have tried and failed to tame the Twitter beast. Hold on to your butt. Others have just tried to explain it. These are aggressive living things that have no idea what century they're in, and they'll defend themselves violently if necessary. The president has fired top officials on Twitter, made destabilizing foreign policy announcements on Twitter. He's even potentially obstructed justice on Twitter. The death, the crazy son of the death. But with his 56 million Twitter followers, 40,000 tweets and counting, it seems the creature cannot be stopped. Merry Christmas for Reed Zakaria starts right now.